What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Amy Winehouse biopic, or as I'm going to call it throughout this review, the adaptation of Amy Winehouse's Wikipedia page, because that's exactly what it is, Back to Black. The extraordinary story of Amy Winehouse's early rise to fame from her early days in Camden through the making of her groundbreaking album, Back to Black, that catapulted Winehouse into global fame. Sold through Amy's eyes and inspired by her deeply personal lyrics, the film explores and embraces many layers of the iconic artist and the tumultuous love story at the center of one of the most legendary albums of all time. Listen, that description is completely misleading because there is nothing really all that interesting about this movie. It's really hollow and shallow and just boring man you take the most interesting aspects of amy winehouse's life and you turn them into something that just puts you to sleep man i cannot believe that the script writer for this movie didn't even peruse wikipedia he just took the cliff notes of wikipedia and was like okay that sounds interesting that sounds interesting that sounds interesting copied and pasted it all into a word document turned that word document into a script and turned his script into the studio and was like here you go this is my final draft you Whoa, 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 where's our first draft? No, 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 no. You don't need a first draft. That is the final draft. I could go on Wikipedia and read way more interesting things about Amy Winehouse than anything that this movie portrays. This movie showcases the most baseline knowledge of Amy Winehouse as you could possibly showcase. I don't know Amy Winehouse's work, really. I'd never listened to her when she was alive, but I just feel like biopics like this don't do the subject matter justice and i've kind of soured on bohemian rhapsody but like i just I, at least that had more depth to it you know it's like and I'm, I'm missing the days where biopics actually span like somebody's entire life what like like i was more interested to see what made amy winehouse tick what made her turn to all the drugs and stuff. How did she battle those personal demons on a daily basis? The movie barely touches upon any of that. At the center of the movie is this romance, and that was really taking away from what made Amy Winehouse tick. That's what I wanted to know. And honestly, like I felt like at times I was watching a bad stage play. The performances felt really corny and hokey. I felt like the actors were trying way too hard to embody the actual real-life figures that they were portraying in the movie. They were trying way too hard to do their best impersonations of those people oh my god and the editing all across the board of this movie is a mess there's a scene where she's in a car and she's reflecting on her life she's sitting in the car a fade to black happens and an amy winehouse song comes on while she's reflecting fade to black happens cuts to her in a studio fade to black happens cuts to the romance fade to black happens it was so jarring i said to myself am i watching a movie or am i watching an extended mtv music video like what is happening here the way that this movie is edited it feels like it's a two-hour music video showcasing somebody's personal demons and life and in those moments you wouldn't even believe that this is about amy winehouse which is insane to think about this could just be about some joe schmo off the street that nobody's even heard of that's how the framing and editing for this movie plays out it's got that music video feel to it and this entire movie also feels like a really cheap stage play if you ask me too i there were many scenes against backdrops where i said i'm watching a play right now aren't i they're not even acting in front of a camera even though it is being filmed, the entire thing felt hokey to me. If there are any positives with the movie, I guess the songs and the singing, I guess that's really it. That's what carries it. But everything else is just a huge dud. If you're an Amy Winehouse fan, you were going to be massively disappointed with this movie. I enjoyed Back to Black with Stale Popcorn. I can't believe we are just not here anymore with biopics. I miss when biopics were interesting. So if you have seen Back to Black, let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. I'll leave my link to my website in the description below as well. You guys are the best. Thank you for watching. My name is Alex Madden, and I will see you at the movies somewhere.